and welcome to Unit 5 of GB 519 Measurement and Decision Making. In this unit, we are going to talk about decentralization and operational performance measures. After you complete this unit, you should be able to state the essentials of effective budgeting and the components of the master budget. Additionally, you should be able to prepare budgets not only for sales, but for production and direct materials, direct labor, manufacturing overhead, selling and administrative expenses, and lastly, the budgeted income statement. You should also be able to prepare a cash budget and the budgeted balance sheet and apply budgeting principles to non-manufacturing companies. Additionally, after completing this unit, you should be able to describe budgetary controls and static budget reports. You should also be able to prepare flexible budget reports and apply responsibility accounting for cost and profit centers and evaluate performance and investment centers. Those are your learning objectives for Unit 5. Welcome to Unit 5 of GB 519 Measurement and Decision Making. In this unit, we're going to talk about effective budgeting and what you should do to make it possible for management to maintain operations that are efficient and effective. Budgeting also enables management to complete one of their major responsibilities, which is planning. Organizational sustainability requires long-term and short-term planning. Those plans enable the company to hopefully obtain their goals and achieve their objectives. So let's start off with our Unit 5 overview and outcomes. We are going to be talking about our decentralization and operational performance measures. After you complete this unit, these are all of your learning objectives as well as your course outcomes that are practiced in Unit 5. As we progress through the unit, you'll see that we will be reading about budgetary planning and budgetary control and responsibility accounting. Additionally, there are videos within Wiley Plus that will help you with these units as well. Then we move on to our Unit 5 discussion for this week, and then we get to practice with Wiley Plus. Additionally, we have the last part, so case project part three, where you're actually going to be preparing your PowerPoint for your previous submission of your manufacturing company, and that is due on Tuesday. Then we have the seminar. This Unit 5 seminar is mandatory, so make sure that hopefully you can attend at our scheduled seminar date and time. And then we have the preliminary lab instructions that we've been doing for most of our weeks as well. And once we get to the preliminary lab assignment, then you have the Unit 5 main lab instructions. And once you complete the main lab, we end our Unit 5, which is going to be all about budgeting. So I hope this helps.